my conviction is that your belief system defines your operating system. So if you believe that you can't do finance, or if you believe that finance is too complicated, or if you believe that the world is, if you don't want to deal with this stuff because it's not you, then the way that you interact with them, in other words, your operating system is going to, is going to validate that. So you need to change your belief system before you can change your operating system. Next slide, please. Um, there are three different ways, I think, that you can reframe the way that you think about finance in your business. Number one, you can look at your business as a, a living creature and entity. I often use the, um, the, the, um, the description to both to, to, to audiences, whether they're male or female, of the, of the business being a baby or an infant, that when it comes out, and is there in its tenderest form, it is completely incapable of communicating with you in any other language except a somatic one. In other words, it can scream and it can pull faces and it can be, but it can't talk to you. It can't say, dad or mom, I'm really hungry or my nappies are full or I've got tummy ache or I'm freezing. It can't do any of those things. So you have to understand the language that it's talking to you in. The difference between a business and a baby is that eventually the baby will grow up and speak to you in your language. Business will never do that. The business will only ever speak to you in the language that it has. And it has three basic ones. Its primary language is financial. It will tell you how, it's, how it is and what it needs from you through the finances. The other one is cultural. It will tell you how it, how it is through the culture of your your business. And the third one, which is probably the easiest one to understand, it will talk to you through your customers. They will tell you, hopefully, certainly by their purchasing behavior or lack of it, whether um, they will tell you how you're doing or how the business is evolving. Second one is storytelling, which is what we're talking about today, and the need to learn the language of your business. And the third one is thinking like an investor in your business, which very, very few entrepreneurs actually do, and all the ones who do do, tend to be more successful. The idea of thinking like an investor in your business means that you have two roles, at least. One of them is an operating manager. That's where entrepreneurs tend to spend all of their time. And one of them is an investor in the business and the creator of an asset that ideally at some stage in the future is going to be entirely independent of your actually being in it. 